Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial of Google Shopping Feeds for Magento 2 and in uh, today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how the admin can can generate the uh, the client ID and the client secret uh, by navigating to uh, uh, to uh, console.developers.google.com so uh, you must be having a Google account so as to log in there and what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a new project there and after that we'll be creating an uh, app for the same and we'll be generating the uh, client ID and the cl client secret that are to be used within the module configuration settings within the admin backend panel. So uh, let's get going and uh, let me go ahead and let me show you how we can do that. So uh, I've already uh, gone uh, to the console.developers.google.com and uh, I've uh, logged in using my Google account there. Now uh, to create a new app uh, what we need to do is on the top left hand side here you can see a drop down arrow is there. We can click that up and after that you need to hit the new project uh, button on the top right hand corner on the pop up and here we'll uh, set up the name for our uh, new project my incarn and I'll hit the create button thereafter and uh, here you can see that uh, the uh, new uh, project has just been created I've just clicked on the notification icon here so I can again go back to my uh, created uh, uh, project there by tapping this up so now you can see that uh, we had just uh, uh, created our new project and from the drop down uh, we had created the new project by clicking the new project button here so uh, now you can see that my in car has been created so I can just select that up and here you can see that my new uh, uh, my in car project has been created now what I'll do is I'll go to the credentials section here and under the first uh, menu option that's the credential here we have create credentials option a drop down is there just click that up and then you need to select the OAuth client ID so you need to select that up just click that up and this brings this page and where we need to configure our consent screen first and only after that we will be able to create our uh, application type so what we'll do is we'll first click the configure consent screen and this brings up this section when we need to fill in some info so I'll just take you through that so here uh, under the application name you can set up the uh, name of your application so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll set up the name for our application and uh, after that we need to set the authorized domain so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll set up the authorized domain for my website then we can add the home page link so uh, and it would should be hosted on an authorized domain so I'll go ahead and I'll copy my home page link you can also add a privacy policy link if you want or if you have any uh, application terms of service link you can add that as well and after that just click the save button and this would save the consent screen section so the consent screen has been uh, more uh, uh, created uh, accordingly there and now we need to select the application type so we'll be selecting the web application now we'll uh, create the name for our uh, web uh, application after that uh, we'll uh, scroll down a bit and uh, here we need to enter the authorized redirect URLs so for that let me take you to a section here I'll uh, just give me a minute for that so uh, this is uh, the uh, section that needs to be added here under the redirect uh, URL first will come the uh, address of your website and then the then you'll have the admin Google shop, shopping feed forward slash both forward slash index so uh, so uh, what I'll do is I'll in after selecting the web application and enter the name of my application the web application and after that under the authorized redirect URL first I'll paste the home page uh, link of my website and then I'll be adding this link to that so 
So that's the redirect URL. And after that, we'll hit the create button here. And after hitting that create button, we'll be able to check our OAuth client ID and the secret and can we always be accessed from the credentials in the API and the services section as well. So here you, is your client ID. You can copy that up by clicking here and here's your client secret that you can copy and paste in the uh, module configuration settings of this uh, uh, extension. And uh, that's all for how to generate the uh, client ID and the client secret uh, key for the Google product feed uh, extension for Magento 2. And uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped you out in uh, creating uh, or generating your first client ID and client secret uh, uh, credentials for uh, use in the admin backend or the Google uh, shopping feed for Magento 2. And if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.